What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk a little bit about this Black Myth Wukong. Now, obviously, this is not the first time that we've heard about this game. It's not even the first time that we've seen this game. I don't remember. Maybe I did it on this channel. I don't remember if I've talked about this game before. You know, when this game was shown off in that really extended, like, gameplay presentation, basically, everybody, everybody on their son was talking about it. I know I watched, uh, like, Angry Joe, specifically, his reaction to it and all that. The game looks incredible. So I do want to talk a little bit about, you know, just the fact of, uh, you know, of this game existing and it being awesome in this video. But obviously we got a new trailer, which I'm sure I'll be showing to you guys as this video goes on and also a confirmed target date for 2023. We know this game is going to be on PC and mainstream platforms, which probably only means next gen, probably not PS4 and Xbox uh, One, right? This is also uh, being made on Unreal Engine 4 and it's getting people very excited because if this is Unreal Engine, Engine 4 pushed probably to its max. Can't wait for Unreal Engine 5. Um, this is a, it's just a great story, to be honest with you. This this game, Game Science Studios is the developer for this game. It's a great story because, you know, it's what happens in China with these gaming developers. I mean, nothing really happens in China with these gaming developers, right? So the fact that they're finally being able to branch out and something like this I mean, okay, the idea of this, this, you know, the Black Myth Wukong. Now, to be honest with you, I really don't care about the the journey to the West. I don't really care all that much about what it's even based off of. I know some, I know a lot of people do. And that's awesome. I know it. I think it's actually really pleasing people in terms of what they're doing with it, right? I think it's actually making a lot of people very impressed and very like, oh, you you respect the source. But you know, me not really caring about it, I can just tell you this looks just like a really good game. I mean. Visuals aside, but let's talk about visuals really fast so I, I can just gush on it. I mean, I it's hard to find a game better looking than this game. You know what I mean? It's going to be really interesting if this game comes out and if it actually is. And I, I, I don't really see any reason why it wouldn't be. But if it is like that, you know, top tier, uh, whether it's visuals. Now, if it's like just a, a really amazing game, we'll have to see if it... You know, if maybe some parts are weaker than the others, but just the visuals alone, I wonder if it's going to be like, man, like, look at what these guys can do over there, right? Now, we have to kind of elevate ourselves uh, as well, but it's just absolutely incredible how good this game looks. And then you get to the actual game itself. Now, I love it. I love it. I mean, the, the gameplay presentation, again, that we got was super good. I think it had quite a bit of diversity, not just in your fighting techniques, but also the enemies. And then this, uh, you know, the, the the official trailer, I think, kind of just added on to it. I mean, you know, it's still several years away, so 2023 is quite a while, but we didn't, uh, as far as I know, we didn't know that before this trailer came out, right? Really, this game, they've been working on this game for quite a while, but we didn't really know when this game was coming out. So two more years. I mean, we're in February, so probably longer, two years, two and a half years. But it'll be... Really, I mean, it's going to be a historic day, I think, no matter what, when this game actually releases. Just the fact of it releasing, we'll have to see how it actually performs when it's, you know, all the way out. And what it does also for developers over there. And we've already seen kind of, uh, you know, the o the overseers, uh, actually China's government uh, in particular, we've already seen them taking steps over the last couple of weeks to approve more games. I think there was a story a few days ago that their government like approved like 48 new games. Now, most of them are like puzzle games or like uh, kind of like mobile, like, like those kind of stuff. But then they also approved some actual like bigger stuff. So that's a really good sign. It's a really, really good, good sign. This game looks, I, I can keep saying it over and over. I know I'm saying the exact same thing over and over again, but it looks absolutely amazing. This is a game that I like, I will play. Um, I, I don't think it'll be necessarily for everybody, but again, just kind of uh, like an historic moment. Now that doesn't mean uh, we should just go in like blindly bowing down to it. I think we should obviously be critical, and if there's things that are, especially by the way, just to throw this out there, when the game comes out, it'll be interesting to see how the media reacts to it because we know how certain people or governments or things have other things like in their pocket we know gaming journalism and their connection to money from certain places so we'll have to see if there's a little bit of a unfairness one way or the other with this game but that'll be fun that'll be years from now that we'll actually get to experience that but we'll see how that goes in the future so let me know guys in the comments below, what do you think? What do you think about this game, whether from this new trailer or the gameplay presentation we got last time? Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on, so you know when all these videos go up. I do a brand new video on this channel every single day, and so I hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video.